Welcome back everyone. My name is Trap. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and like and add comments. It helps me improve my content. Today I'm going to be going over this utility I found on Jun Jung's site, the author and creator of FCF. What we're going to demonstrate is using FCF as an interactive rip grip launcher. And some of the dependencies that you're going to need on your computer if you want to do this, you're going to need obviously rip grip, FCF, bat, which is a cat replacement. Uh, if you set up your editor, to your export an environment variable dollar editor, then it'll launch whatever editor that you have. In this particular example, we're going to see it actually launching FCF. I will provide the link uh, to the source documents that I started from, and I'll also provide the script that I've written for, uh, that you can use to make your own experiments with. So let's get started by going to another session. We're going to find with rip grep and the hard drive, four files containing the text in dollar editor. And so right away we've got a hit. Now notice that that there are it's still indexing, but it already found the file. When this indexing finishes, there's over seven million files on my computer. But I can go back and do that dollar editor again. Also notice when I'm searching if I'm using I may need to escape a character. So in this case I had to do slash dollar uh, so it, it understands to escape that character. We've gone right into the file, just pressing the enter key. So we used um, FCF and a combination of rip grep to find this particular file. We brought this file into our, in my case, the NeoVim editor. I can do the uh, leader NF finds where that file is using NeoVim, and you can see that that's pretty deep in my tree. Um, I also have it set up to go into Harpoon, so Harpoon's already there. You can see that, that file is already in Harpoon in my Harpoon jump list. So this thing is actually pretty cool. Um, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you where this script actually originated from and what I'll do is I'll just launch the web browser from here. We'll do a GX dollar and it brings it right up. Now this is a blocking call so right now NeoVim is kind of disabled but it allowed me to get to where this particular file was. Again I will put all this in the links down below. We'll cancel this and the, the the URL to this particular file that I'm editing right now, I will also put that in the in the in the links below. So in that particular case, line 22 down, this is the actual URL for that particular page. So appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day, and may God bless you.